Okay. Uh, so I, I am Guillaume Delanou. I'm working at the EFV, the French Institute of Wine and Vineyard. Uh, I am leading research project about uh, biocontrol of disease, but also about plant physiology. And during a three-year project, uh, we we look at the link between the tillage and the the, the risk of a late spring frost, because in especially in the Loire Valley, but also everywhere in the in the vineyard. The late spring is a kind of risky and busy period because of the end of the, of the winter, the grass is growing, so we need to manage it either by tillage or, or mowing. And uh, because of the early uh, bud burst, uh, we have uh, more and more spring frost risk. Uh, because of all the observation we made uh, during the, the, the project and since 2017 and 16, where we are a, a huge spring frost here in the Loire Valley, uh, we know that 20% of humidity, uh, in addition of the phenological stage, uh, can increase the, the damage of frost uh, on the bed uh, by 50%. So plus 20% of humidity can lead to plus 50% of damage bed uh, for the same temperature. So we decided to monitor the impact of the TH and the mowing and so on on the on the humidity. So here is a, an image of the kind of assessment we made. Uh, we we put it some uh, uh, humidity and temperature sensor just above the ground at the level of the bud, and we asked the vineyard manager to plow some rows and to let some other rows without anything, without mowing, and uh, without anything. So we were able to compare the, the humidity uh, above the, the soil. So here is the, an example of a very interesting result. So you see the, the blue line is the humidity at the bud level just above the ground we was plowed. And the orange uh, line is the humidity uh, above the ground we was not plowed at all. And the, plow the plowing happened uh, very early in the, the, first, uh, the first morning uh, where there is the, the, blue, the blue mark. So on the first day, there is no main difference uh, about the atmosphere around the beds. But during the second day, you can see that we have 33% of humidity higher just above the ground we was plowed. And the third day is more or less the same because we have 30% of humidity with always higher humidity above the ground we was plowed. And if we remember what I said just before, plus 20% of humidity can increase 50% of uh, damage on the bird. So this kind of difference is, is very huge. So for at least three days minimum, we observed that we can have up to 30% of humidity near the beds and during the coldest hour of the day, so in the morning. Uh, all this uh, number can change a bit depending on the drainage capacity of the soil. Uh, you can easily make the difference in your mind between a sand, a sandy soil and a, a clayish uh, soil. And also, be, uh, it's also depending on the rain accumulation since the, the middle of the winter. The winter 2022-23 was very dry, so we didn't see any impact even uh, for plowing the day before the risk of late spring frost. Uh, but this winter is very rainy, so we can wait for a huge impact to follow. It also depends on, on the soil temperature and its capacity to warm up and to remove all the humidity in the ground. We also observed that uh, the result can also uh, change between the tools we, we use in the vineyard. On the left, you can see tools that we use when the rows are not so wide. So they move a high volume of soil. So there is more humidity to remove. And on the right, there is the kind of, of a tool uh, we can use uh, when the, the, the rows are wider, so there is less uh, volume of soil who is moved, so the impact uh, will last a few few less days. Uh, what we know that because of the monitoring we made on 20 plots during three years, uh, we know that in case of sunny weather after the plowing, up to eight days are required required for the the, the curve to join together with a uh, 
with a day uh, sunny and with a mean temperature uh, higher than 10 degrees. And in case of rain during these eight days, uh, sometimes we need to, to wait up to 20 days uh, to have the same atmospheric humidity around the, around the bed. So with all this uh, monitoring, we, we were able to edit some uh, best practice uh, rules for the winemakers and the vineyard manager. So in case of frost uh, forecast, and uh, unfortunately the birds are waking up uh, right now, so I guess uh, we will have to, to say it again to the winemaker and the vineyard manager in the area, the atmosphere around the birds needs to be as dry as possible. So no tillage or mowing the five or six days before the day we, we, we know that there is a risk. And it's also linked to the, the weather forecast. Usually six or seven days before, we can already see that this day will be risky or not. Uh, and we observed a lot of failure uh, due to mowing of uh, dense uh, cover clover uh, or very high, uh, high amount of, uh, of grass. Uh, just five days before the frost, and there were a, a huge difference between the, the plot who was cut in and the plot who was not touched at all. Uh, in French, we say sometimes, le mieux est l'ennemi du bien, which means the best is the enemy of the good. Uh, so sometimes, when in case of uh, risk uh, of late spring frost, it's better to do nothing. The risk could be to increase the damage on the bed. Thank you for your attention.